Okay, welcome back to my channel. Again, we're here with the Treasure 1114-10. We've just finished winding our bobbin for the upper stand. Simply attach your upper stand, locking like so. Swivel your handle, make sure it's running free. You will have a rod, looks like this, very similar. If not, thread it through. Make sure your rod does not have much play. It needs a little bit, but if it has too much, you will have problems with the thread trying to feed off the bobbin. Simply place the rod up in. And go in one side, like so. Slip it into the other. There we go. Make sure that your yarn or thread can feed freely. Next, you'll need to use your extra long threading wire. Slip it in towards the short end. Push it up. Straight down through the pipe. Making sure that you don't have any tension up here. So free feed off some of your thread and yarn. This will take you all the way down to the nipple. This can be tricky to thread. I just got it. I'm bring the camera down here so that you can see that I have the threading wire spitting out the larger hole in the coiling nipple. Now, we have a particularly fine nipple which has a cutout a little bit above. So I'm going to retract the wire and try to get it to come out through this hole instead. What that does is preserve the life of my wire. If I do have to take it through the lower one, I most definitely will have damaged my wire in the process by bending it. This will still damage the wire, but you'll get a lot more wear. You can see it's already starting to, to curve and buckle, but I still have at least another 30 or 40 threadings life left in this wire. Now, as I bought the thread out through the upper cut in the nipple, you can see it's flowing very easily. I will need to get that to go through a very fine hole that feeds down into the nipple. I'm not saying this is going to be easy, but it is the only way. Sometimes when it is so fine, I actually put a little bit of super glue on the end to stiffen up this end. So it'll feed through. Okay, so I'm now using my hook knife corner to try and push this through. Unfortunately, the fit is so tight, I can't double my cord over to loop it through, otherwise I'd be able to reverse loop this using another thread to get it to pull through, but there is actually no space. The cord I'm using is a 1.5 millimeter width and my nipple, or guide I should say here, is the same width. It is deliberately designed for 1.5 millimeter cord. So you can see I needed a bit of effort, it took less than a minute. Again, always have patience. I've got a lot of excess here I don't want to lose. So I go back up to the top and I rewind the excess that have pulled through. Making sure my flow is still very smooth. I can add pressure via this screw here, which has a flip spring to create a lot of tension. I don't want that much. I don't want it completely free. I need about that much, maybe a tad loose. I 